What's up, peeps? Welcome back. Um, I'm playing with the Ute again. It's been uh, this has been the most productive time I think I've had playing with not just one car but two cars. I've been doing the Valiant. I've been doing the HQ. I'm getting stuff done, so it's good. Um, I didn't bore you too much with the details, but I cleaned all the Ute tray up area. That makes sense, right? Shit. Anyway, I cleaned this all up. It was um, it was just surface rust. It really wasn't bad. Some old loose paint. For an old tray, it's pretty good. The tailgate is freaking hammered. Look at that sucker. So anyways, I'm pretty happy with how it all came up too. Just hit it really hard with the bell brush. That little sucker rips things to freaking pieces. And that's what we want. This guy here. See all those pieces of missing wire? They're in my leg, in my tummy. And a few other places I didn't want them. But it did the trick. The tray looks freaking sweet. So... Started masking it up last night, which I think is going pretty good. Surprised it actually stuck. Just went and got me some Sikaflex. Um, hey, that's upside down. Went and got one of these. I'm just going to do a few of the seams in the tray itself. If you look down here, there's this seam and a couple in the corners. Uh, not up there so much. That's all pretty well fine. But down here, those areas there. So I'm just going to go through and... Seal all those up, and it's wrapped the lighting time, which I'm a little bit excited about. That's going to tick a major job off the list on this car and get it moving towards actually being registered one day. <laughs> Who would have thought? So, um, I'll show you through the product and what we're going to do, and we'll go for a journey together. So, these, these joins here in the tray, and around here, it's all fairly exposed. I've got a fair bit of surface rust there. It was pretty pitted. Uh, and last night I came down here and just laid in a really heavy coat of zinc paint in there as well just to sort of get in under that extra paneling there and uh, seal it all back together. Just so that we don't get any water ingress or anything in the future. The underside of this thing looks as good as the top. I probably put more time into the underside than having the top side. Just in the uh, pursuit of making it last. I really want this car to be a patinaed car. Really want the car to look as old as possible and ratty on the outside. I really want it to be like a top-notch build on the underside. That's the plan anyway. So let's go along here. This is black, this stuff. I've used it plenty of times. It works a treat. You can paint it. It remains flexible. I'm going to put Raptor liner over the top of her anyway, but there you go. You get him in there, so that's good. Remains nice and flexible and a few other bits and pieces. It's got some good properties to it. Main thing is it pretty well lasts forever. This is a do it once, do it right type procedure. So I'll just go along here and just work it in there with my finger. Get it in there, get it up under that edge. Run over, there's a few stitch welds in here, so just run it up against the stitch welds as well. There we go. Just work that product in there and make the most of it. Seal it up. That way when I go to spray the, uh, the wrap the liner over here. It'll all be sealed. I'm gonna get, you know, the Raptor liner off. The Raptor liner is really gonna seal the surface and never ever come off. So we don't want to have this situation where we've got the Raptor liner and then rust getting in between that and, and the metal surface here and really just going to town under there. So the better we seal this up, you know, this is all primed, back to bare metal primed, sealed all this up. When you hit it with the Raptor liner, she's gonna be a, a done deal. Let's move forward. Right, here's our Raptor kit. And this stuff sets, it sets. Uh, it's black. So I want the back of the tray to be black. You can get it color coded. Um, just whoever your supplier is, you have a chat to them. Give them a certain color you're looking for and they'll uh, they'll tint it up. So, you know, it's been a red ute. If you want a red tray, that's totally doable. So, it's very simple stuff. That's the main product in there. He needs a good shake up. And then add some of this hardener to it. It is a two-part, two-pack type arrangement. So use the correct amount of hardener. This is a full kit, so it comes there you need. That's your hardener, dearly. Put it all in there, and then there is a gun, which I've put somewhere else. I'll find that in a minute. And these bottles literally screw to the, the gun that is for the, the kit itself. Uh, four bottles. I think two should cover the tray. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I helped a mate do this once upon a time, but I think that was about 10 years ago and the old memory is just not what it used to be. So I think two will do it. 
might be realistically more three. I still have to do the, the side panels that go in here too, so we'll, we'll get onto those at some stage too. Um, probably during the week actually, so I can give the gun back. I borrowed a gun, you can buy them. Some places hire them, I just borrowed from someone else's, so I'll get that gun back to him at some point. So that's how it goes down. I'm just gonna go around with this gear. If you haven't seen this before, this is really cool. This is only a 550 drop, I think. Where's the... There it is, 550. So it actually unfolds. It's like, I don't know. I'll show you in a second. It unfolds. It's just a really great way of masking off large areas quickly. So we'll go around and I'm going to fiddle that up to the edge of the tray where I've got the green masking on it. And that's going to give us our barrier so that we don't get this stuff everywhere. This is definitely one of the coolest products out. It does come in bigger sizes. This is a 550 drop. Um, it does come in much larger sizes as well. It definitely comes out like that. You can tear him off, like so. I'm going to manage just to stick it to itself. Be careful of that. But anyway, this is just a demo piece, you'll get the idea. So it, it all pulls out and gives you, if you don't stick the tape to it, not the best demonstration one. It works a lot better when you stick it to the car. I'm just trying to hold it in the air, but anyway, there you go. It gives you a drop sheet. That's going to help us mask off this whole area really, really fast. Um, I don't know. I felt 550 was probably enough. So all you do, is like so, start where I've used the green tape. It was just a lot easier to get in there with the green tape. Oh, you're going too far that way. Hang on. And this one just comes over the top of it. I literally just, I'll run this all the way down this side now and then I'll come back and I'll unfold the whole thing. It's just on a roll, so it just comes out nice and neat and easy. Like so, just keep on following my green tape line. I don't have to be very accurate, because the green tape's doing the accuracy part. Around this corner, I think we've gone off camera here, sorry guys. Um, I'll come back and show you what we did in a second. Tear that one up there. Right, that's that. So I've gone from here all the way to the back of the tray, one big piece, and then all I do, undo the back side of him, and pull him out like that. He goes all the way up to that height there. That drops down the side of my, my tray sides here, I'll do the same across all of here, all the way around this whole area. This stuff's, it's pretty messy. When you see the gun, I'll show you that next. It's just a big old nozzle in the end, 40 psi up its back, so and it just sprays product everywhere. So we're going to keep the product in the car and not all over the sides. So let's go ahead, fit all this up, and uh, I've got a little fan heater going here just to bring some heat into the material. It's a pretty warm day, but uh, a little bit of extra heat won't go astray. It'll just help it really bond and set nicely. So I'll set all this up, and I think we'll come back in a couple of hours. Uh, I know that sticker flex needs probably 24 hours, but it'll give about three hours. Come back here, we're going to spray some product in here because, uh, well, it's Saturday and I'm at home and I don't know if my neighbours are going to enjoy my air compressor going at 9 o'clock tonight. So this is the time I have to do it. We're ready to spray, I think. We got it all masked off. For the 550 drop, I probably would, I think the next one was like a metre or 1100. I probably would recommend that if you guys are doing this. Just 550 seemed like a lot, but it's not really. It didn't go real far at all. So like we say, she's all prepped. Just gonna let that heater go for a little bit longer. Just gonna bring the temperature of the steel up a little bit. Assuming we are doing this in my shed. Which is totally fine. There's no baking procedure or anything for it. So, yeah. Load up the gun and get after, I suppose. Ain't nothing else to it, but to do it. Well, I've checked out the instructions and it's this simple. Fill, shake, and shoot. Here's our gun that we're going to be using. There's a regulator on it so I can sort of dull it off a little bit instead of full pressure. It's a lot easier doing that than it is to use the uh, reg on the compressor. So that's the bottle. That's going to, that lid comes off and this just screws straight up underneath the gun there. Bam. All we do is fill this little tub here up. Tip him into here. That's the hardener. Fill it up. So it's hardener. Into this thing. Into this thing. Shaky shake. Screw onto that thing. Spray on car. So let's have at it. That's what she looks like. Ready to rock and roll at any time. Alright, 
I don't know if you can hear me. Got my wicked mask on. We got the good stuff. It's time to go lay it down on the ute. I'm just mixing up the second one. First one's already laid down. You can see in the room here, there is no overspray. Unbelievable. What a, a really great product. I really, I'm very impressed. This mask is very good too. I don't know how well you can hear me, but I'm yelling. <laughs> this thing, this thing seals good. I can't smell a single fume. This is what we got so far. It's the prep surface. And look at all this. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at that. Woo! That's it, all cleaned up as if nothing ever happened. Still got two bottles left in there. I only used two bottles to do the whole tray, so that's awesome. Uh, gun's all cleaned up. Does just clean up and break down with thinners. I have gun wash. If you've ever used gun washers, the cleaner of all cleaners. That gear, man. Anyway, get a hang of it. Beyond excited, like it's just, just made it. By the time, like this car's gonna have brand new interior, the tray's nicely lined, everything underneath this car's brand new, the engine's new. The only thing that's gonna be old is the paint, and that's kind of where I was going with it. And this gear, man, that was like the easiest thing you can do to your car. It, I would, even if I bought a brand new car, I'd go out and buy the kit. The kit's only a couple hundred bucks. You can hire the gun. And I've got this this same protecting lining in the back of my RAM. And, like, it's rock hard, man. You can drag whatever you want over it. Sharp edges, it doesn't care. It's, it's where it's at. And for such a simple application, minimum dust. Like, I just did this in the shed at home. This is so easy. Highly recommend it. Anyway, that's me rambling. I am going to let this set for a couple of hours. Come back, and my favorite part is peeling tape off. That's when it really gets cool. So, um, yeah, let's, let's let us sit there for a bit. Alright guys, this is the best part of the whole show. I get to take all this off, and uh, get to see the end result. I'm, I'm, it's my favourite part. I like taking the tape off. It's rewarding. So... And here we have the finished product. Far out, am I stoked with this. Man. 
Once I get all this patina ring done, we get all the clear coat done all through these parts here and cleaned up, man, it's just gonna pop. So there you have it. Beyond Stoked. What a fantastic product. Woohoo! Thank you very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it greatly. Um, that wraps up this part. I'm gonna move on to the interior on this car next. Uh, you'll probably see a Valiant photo, uh, photo video in the near future before anything more happens on this car. So that'll do this car for a bit. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.